Are you curious how supercars are built and why they are called supercar? Watch till the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Supercar engines are designed to deliver extreme power around 600 to 1500 or more horsepower with around 1500 newton meter torque. It should reach 0 to 100 km per hour within 2 to 3 seconds. Most supercars feature V8, V10, or V12 configurations, offering high rev limits and aggressive throttle response. V8 has 8 cylinders in a V-shape powerful and compact. V10 has 10 cylinders, offers a balance between power and smoothness. V12 contains 12 cylinders, extremely smooth and powerful, often found in top-tier supercars like the Ferrari 812 or Lamborghini Aventador. The hybrid supercars combine internal combustion with electric motors for performance and efficiency. Electric supercars use multiple motors one per wheel or axle for instant torque and precise control. That's all about power. Now come to the exterior. At high speeds, air becomes an invisible force. Streamlined shapes of supercars reduce air resistance. Front splitters, rear diffusers and wings keep the car glued to the road. Active aero components adjust in real time for optimal performance. Venturi tunnels or underbody channels accelerate airflow and create suction. In modern supercars, ECUs manage engine, transmission, suspension and more. Drive modes, adjust throttle response, suspension stiffness and traction control. Launch control optimizes acceleration from a standstill. Torque vectoring distributes power between wheels for better cornering. Now let's talk about material. Carbon fiber monocoque design provides lightweight, rigid structure in most modern supercars. Aluminum alloys are used in suspension and subframes for strength and weight savings. Titanium and magnesium are found in exhausts, wheels and engine components. Ceramic brakes provides high-performance braking with minimal fade under extreme heat. That's all in short, stay tuned, more to come.